from the virtual world of Lyme Central School, and welcome to our virtual winter sports celebration. I'm Barry Davis, principal of Lyme Central School, and on behalf of the Board of Education and Mrs. Cami Morrison, our superintendent, I have the honor of welcoming our coaches and our winter athletes. Our coaches for the winter season, modified girls basketball, Miss Stephanie Doney. Modified Boys Basketball, Mr. Dan Lawson. Girls JV, Jennifer Sosa. Boys JV, Mr. Jim Morrow. Our cheerleading advisor, Ms. Keitha Dorr. Girls Varsity, Mr. Mark Wilson. He is also the Frontier League Coach of the Year for Girls Basketball. And Mr. Leo Wilson, who is our Varsity Boys Basketball Coach. I'd like to thank the parents and the fans for supporting their athletes, attending the games, transporting of the students, all of the meals and all of the equipment that they purchased, and just being there for our students. Thank you also to Lyme Central School Booster Club and a special happy 85th birthday to Mrs. Eleanor Vernes. We love you, Eleanor. Thank you to Mrs. Tammy McIntosh for all the clerical and emotional support you give our coaches, our players, and the AD. We thank you for being our varsity club advisor. Thanks to all the custodians, the scorekeepers, the scoreboard operators that keep us going. And a special thank you to our assistant coaches, Jared Wilson, Ryan Crossman, Dave Flyzik, Jose Sosa, for all of the hours that you put in to support the coaching staff and our players. This has been the most challenging time in my 35 years of education at Lyme Central. My heart goes out to the spring athletes, especially the seniors and the coaches that will always wonder, what if? Our seniors for the spring sports will be recognized at another time. Our winter season was exciting, bringing home many honors and having both varsity teams excel in section three. It will be a season to remember. And now our coaches will share their stories and celebrate the winter season of 2019-20. My best to you and God bless. Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie Doney and I had the opportunity of coaching the girls modified basketball program this year. I'd like to first start off by thanking administration and the board for giving me this opportunity to coach. Also the custodial staff for their setups each game and helping me with the technology. Thank you to the fans and parents for giving your support each and every game. And of course, Mr. Davis and Mrs. McIntosh for their dedication to the sports program. A special thanks goes out to Hannah Smithers who came to me before the season asking to be a part. Her dedication to these girls has been incredible and meant the world to me. So thank you, Hannah. I've been working with these girls now the past year in both soccer and softball. They're a great group and I'm very thankful to have the opportunity to coach them. They finished the season with a winning record and they worked hard not only on their individual skills but their team skills. To say I'm proud is an understatement. I hope you all are doing well. I miss you. I can't wait to see you soon. Stay healthy and stay safe. Bye. Hi, I'd like to congratulate the boys' modified basketball team on a great season. I hope all the boys are playing a lot in their driveways. The team showed a great deal of mental toughness during the season. They finished with a 5-4 and four record, but every game was close throughout. I look forward to watching them play in the future. Um, so to talk about the players, Billy Brennan um, has a wonderful attitude and always worked hard. He wanted to be the best player he could. Billy showed wonderful flashes, and I hope he continues to improve. Uh, for Drew Issa, his game has continued to improve during the year. Uh, next year, the team will count on him to be a leader and major scorer. Uh, Johnny LaFontaine played point guard and was the heart of the team. He did whatever needed to be done to win and ran the team very well on the court. Logan McDonald improved greatly from last season. He provided much needed scoring and great defensive effort. Ethan O'Brien is a very intelligent player and it is like having a coach on the floor who is always willing to help his teammates. Uh, Derek Radley was a great scorer and rebounder for the team. His intensity set the tone for the entire team. 
Uh, Caden Vanille was a newcomer to basketball, but he was very eager to learn and a great kid. He improved greatly throughout the season. Um, I want to thank the players again for a wonderful year. Hopefully I see you soon. Hi, I'm Coach Sosa, uh, the girls' JV basketball coach for Lyme Central School. Uh, I want to say thank you to Ms. Morrison, Mr. Davis, and the Board of Education for allowing me to coach another season at the school. Um, I also want to thank my husband, Jose, who was my assistant coach. I want to thank my son, Julian, for being our cameraman. I want to thank uh, Jordan Alberry, Delaney Linkrum for being our water girls, and the parents for all the support that you've given the team for the season. I will tell you that this was one of my most challenging seasons I have ran across since I've been coaching. Uh, we had a lot of strong personalities that clashed, which made it hard to pull together as a team. There was a lot of growth that needed to happen in order for us to even be able to play as a team. As the season went on, the strong personalities started to show um, their strengths on the court and started to grow as young ladies and strong young ladies as that. A team was now being formed, a strong team. Other schools complimented us on our defense. They, um, they said that we played off of our strengths and that they haven't seen anybody with our kind of defense and it was one of the most best defense that they've seen and they were impressed by that so it was nice to hear the compliments from the other schools as far as the principals the other varsity coaches the assistant coaches all of them uh, when they would approach me after some of the games and complimented us it was really rewarding as a coach to be able to hear that uh, there was no denying that the strong personalities were starting to show and they were starting to show in the right spots. My returning athletes stepped in to help build this team as well. Uh, they used their strengths to help build a strong bond. They knew how passionate I am as a coach for the game. And over the years, you can now start seeing that they're starting to be passionate about it as well. And it was nice and rewarding to see for me as a coach because that's something I can't teach them. It has to come from within uh, for them to be able to have that feeling. So it was nice to see that they started feeling um, passion for the game. Uh, Carissa Parker, I started working with her in the Youth Commission in sixth grade. Then I took her from seventh grade and brought her up to my JV team. So I've been one of her only basketball coaches that she has had. So I've been fortunate to be able to be the one that molds her into the player that she is. Uh, she was a soccer kid, so we had uh, some things to kind of get over that you can do in soccer, but you can't do in basketball. So once we got past that, uh, she listened to pretty much everything I, I had to say. If she didn't know what I was saying, she would ask. Um, she was a very dedicated player and listened to every word. Uh, she would come to practice. Uh, she would come to every game. I didn't have to worry about her not being there at all. She would always give it her all. I always have a saying, uh, I want to see 110% out of everybody. And I had never had to worry about her giving me anything less than that. So she, she was a shy girl to start with. Uh, she's come a long way. Uh, she is now a young lady that helps her teammates. Uh, she steps in when I had drills that I wanted help with, with no problem. Uh, she would come and help other teammates if she seen they weren't doing the right um, right position or wasn't doing the right type of drill or anything along the lines of that. She would not be afraid to go and help correct them. Uh, she was one of my captains. I had a few of them this year, but I, I had all the qualities that these girls gave me. I had no choice. I had to have a few captains this year. Uh, I want to thank her for all of her hard work and everything that she did for the team. Uh, I will miss you. Uh, but I know it's time for you to move on and, and grow. So just keep doing what you're doing. Keep your head high. Keep 
working hard and your dedication, you'll go far. So keep that up. Uh, Caitlin De Silva. I've coached her on and off since the Youth Commission. Uh, she was my powerhouse. She was my brick wall um, underneath that basket. There was no getting past her. Uh, she would push herself to the breaking point. She, we would be out getting a water break, and she would still be working on her post moves. She wanted to perfect them, and she wanted to do them correctly. Uh, so she was working all the time. Uh, she was like a mini-me. Uh, every now and again during practice, I could hear her say something that would probably come out of my mouth. Um, and it was helping, you know, keeping the girls on track and keeping them motivated and keeping them doing the right thing and uh, keeping them doing the drills correctly. So um, it always brought a grin to my face uh, that she was kind of taking on some of my traits <laughs> as a coach. Um, if she ever decides to be a coach, she'll be one heck of a good one. Uh, she ended up getting hurt, which cut her season short, uh, which was devastating. We had to watch um, her not be able to play anymore, but she was still at every practice and every game. She sat on the bench. She then took on the responsibility of being another assistant coach to me. So she kept showing the girls, even though she can't play, she's still there to support them, which is really, really big of her. And that shows you just how much heart and dedication she has. Uh, to playing the team, playing this this sport, or playing sports in general, or anything, she's a very dedicated girl. Um, she was another one of my captains, and that's why um, she took initiative. She wasn't afraid to direct, so um, I had to give her give her that uh, title as well. Uh, Caitlin, thank you for all the hard work. I wish you all the best of luck moving forward. Um, you'll be amazing next year. Keep it up. Jaden Green. I have coached Jaden for a while now. Uh, she becomes a different person on the court. She has no fear. Uh, she went from being a joking around all the time. She jokes quite a bit. Uh, to be very serious on the court. Uh, the most... It meant so much to her to play that when she came to a point where she couldn't play for a little while, uh, she actually still came to games and she would still sit the bench and she would still help out those who still could play um, by going over some of the plays and going over what they should do or or uh, taking on, you know, being an assistant coach as well. And I couldn't ask anything better. Um, all that little bit did help out. Uh, as far as um, the other girls to see how dedicated they were to the team, even though they weren't able to play. So that meant a lot. I don't know if they realized that, but it did. Uh, basketball needed her just as much as she needed basketball. So uh, she was another captain of mine. And um, I wish you all the best of luck moving forward. Just keep going. Dedication, hard work will pay off in the end. Uh, Jillian Albury was my youngest player. She showed hard work and dedication, and she ended up being another one of my captains because of her leadership. Uh, her and Caitlin knew the plays like the back of their hands. Uh, just to tell you, we had a lot of plays <laughs> to know, so they took initiative to be able to know them um, so they could help coach during, um, during practices as well and help direct. Uh, I will be losing also Sophia and Madison as well. I didn't get much time with them, but in the little time that I had, we ended up uh, seeing a really good um, growth in them as players. Uh, they both told me that they were going to play for next year um, on the varsity team. So that made me feel good as a coach, being it that they haven't played too long, but that they they wanted to keep growing with it. So I wish you two the best of luck as well. Uh, keep going. Hard work um, always pays off. So keep that, keep that in mind. Uh, we ended up the season being 10 wins and 4 losses. My best season as a JV coach. 
all the hard work paid off uh, from me, from my husband, the assistant coach, the student athletes, everything paid off in the end. Uh, those coming up to me uh, and returning, be ready because we're going to try to beat that next year. That's our goal. So just to forewarn you. <laughs> um, and, and let me give you a breakdown of the points so just that you know uh, how hard these girls worked. Uh, Jaden ended up with 106 points. Uh, Jillian ended up with 98 points. Uh, Carissa ended up with 87 points. Caitlin ended up with 66 points. Elena ended up with 36 points. Zarebeth ended up with 31 points. Dallas ended up with 13 points. Megan with 6 points. And Madison with 5 points. So I just want to say overall in closing, Thank you to all the student athletes for all the hard work that you put in. I know it was hard. I know some of you were like, man, do we have to do this again? And But yet you still did it. <laughs> um, all hard work always pays off. So just keep that in mind. And I want to thank um, everybody that is here listening. And I want everybody to stay safe. Thanks. Hello, Coach Morrow. Uh for the Lime Central School boys junior varsity basketball team. I'd like to start off by thanking the school administration and all the support staff, bus drivers, bookkeeper, uh, score clock, the uh, maintenance cleaners that helped us uh, prepare for each game. And uh, I'd like to thank the assistant coach, Coach Fizak, for helping out and our manager, uh, ball boy, uh, water boy, Julian Sosa. And the uh, team that we had this year, uh, number one was uh, Dominic Sanford. Number two, Landon Waldron. Number 12, Aiden Lengthrum. Number 33, Michael Fizak, the team captain. Number 34, Gage Nero. Number 35, uh, Danielson Da Silva. And number 50, Kenny Timmerman. We started off the season with the seven players and finished the season with seven players. We had an overall record of uh, three wins and 12 losses. The uh, start of the season was a little rough, a uh, little bit uh, complicated working with the seven players, trying to get our rhythm together against some of the other teams that had a lot more players. Uh, but we did finish off uh, the end of the season with at the last five games, uh, three wins and two losses. So as far as the goal we set to get better during the season, uh, we we definitely did that. Uh, throughout the season, we set some team goals and some individual goals and always strive to get better. So uh, overall, I was pretty, uh, pretty proud of the team. They worked hard throughout the practices in the season and ended up finishing uh, better than they started. So I wish them... Uh, Good luck in the future. I think uh, Varsity will be getting some good basketball players, and the ones that get to come back and play again next year definitely will be uh, working to get better and definitely should have a better season. Uh, thank you. Hi, everybody. My name is Keitha. I am the cheerleading coach. Um, I'd like to thank um, the board and Mr. Davis for giving me a chance and hiring me to coach after 16 years of being out of it. Uh, also, Mrs. McIntosh for the many, many phone calls and emails trying to get my classes together before I could even start the season and the scheduling of practices on top of competitions, plus the protocol with the school with me being new to the district and as a coach. Um, jumping into the season, I had 11 girls, all of them very different and strong personalities. Um, more than half of the girls were actually new to the sport, so we started off some, some sidelines plus floor cheers and finally stunting, which they absolutely loved and was their complete favorite thing to do. Um, these girls had unreachable expectations that was provided by the NFHS and USA Cheer for competitions, but not only did they reach them they surpassed them 
something that could be simplified with, say, 15 girls for these requirements that they provide with them. These 11 girls completely rocked it and dominated the mat. Cheerleading, of course, isn't without risks. Uh, my girls were faced with a great challenge, both physical and emotional. They had 30 minutes to revise and retake the mat without their one teammate, Rebecca Molnar. She had abruptly fell mid-stunt during their routine at their first competition of the season that was held at South Jeff. Um, due to the injury, she was unable to participate the rest of the season, but she still attended every game, every practice, and the competitions that we had did after that. So for a huge shout out for her, for her dedication and continued to support for her team. Uh, with that starting, at us, starting us off, I want to acknowledge some more of the girls. Uh, Jordan Cheeseman and Ashlyn Hiltz both got all-stars for Frontier League and sectional competitions that were both at South Jeff. Uh, Vanessa Ashlyn for her pep and sportsmanship. Whether we were at a game or any of the competitions, she was rooting everybody on, which is great to see. Um, I also also did a Persevere Award this year in lieu of the MVP and the Most Improved. Uh, the Persevere I gave to a young lady who, no matter what I threw at her, she pushed through everything possible. Um, nervous at first because it was her first year, but no matter what I asked her to do, she did it. And as many times as she was stepped on or even kicked in the head, she persevered through it all and did it beautifully. And for that, I want to give that to Jessica Middlestate. Uh, we did the Indian Award. The girls voted on it, and they came up with to give it to Laura Horton. Um, very pleased that they're giving this award to her. She is not just the definition of this award, but she is one of my strongest bases and jumpers. She has been cheering the longest, and her gymnastic skills are impeccable. Uh, always has a smile on her face, and she's so uh, very pleased to be around. Um, also, all, all of these ladies in general have their own uniqueness and specialties about them, but above that, they are the definition of hard work, strength, and poise, and I'm happy that I had the ability to coach them this year. Very, very proud of that. Um, they did take third place at Copenhagen for their Battle of Championship competition, um, and also got the Best Fan Award for the school district. So that is a huge, huge thank you and shout out to all the parents that bring your kids to practices, even though because of my work schedule, we have to do it later. And I'm sorry. Um, I don't know how I couldn't do it without you. I don't know how many times, you know, have practice have to be changed or have to do a practice at the last minute because of competition. Thank you, thank you so much for getting these girls to practice and allowing me to coach them. Um, so huge shout out to you, especially with that award that we were given at Copenhagen. That was that was awesome. I uh, hope everybody stays safe. This is a crazy, crazy time, and I look forward to next season. Thank you so much. Bye. Hi, my name is Mark Wilson, and I'm the Lion Varsity Girls Basketball Coach. First, Coach Crossman and I would like to thank the School Board of Education, Mr. Davis, Mrs. Morrison, for giving us the opportunity and the privilege to coach this fine young group of, of young ladies. Um, I would like to thank Tammy McIntosh for all of her hard work that she does for us throughout the year. I'd like to thank John LaFontaine for keeping our scorebook, Rob Stevenson for keeping our score clock uh, at all of our home games. I'd like to thank Kirk Albertine for streaming all of our, our all the games that he streamed for us, especially when we went down to Allen House and and uh, he streamed the semifinal game for us down there. Um, I'd like to thank our managers, Marcus Wilson and Natalie Crossman for um, the work that they did for the girls throughout the season, getting them their water, stuff like that. Um, now I'd like to take a few moments and, and talk about this amazing Lion Girls basketball team. And I'd like to start it out by stealing a quote from the Watertown Daily Times uh, sports writer, Phil Sanzone. 
And he, to describe them, he used the quote uh, saying that these girls from Shamal are the best team um, to wear the word lime across the front of their jerseys. And that is quite the compliment that, uh, that I believe anybody could pay to this, this group of girls. Um, they have a lot to be proud of. Uh, through their hard work and dedication, uh, they brought this basketball program to new levels. Um, not only in the section, uh, but in the state, they've raised them to one of the uh, better teams in the section and in the state. The girls finished the season at 17 and five overall, 13 and two in the league. Uh, their 17 and five record uh, earned them. Uh, the ranking of number three in the in the section, and number sixteen in the state, which are both school records um, that hasn't been done before in, in the history of our, our girls basketball program. Um, they also um, made it to the semifinals in the Class D sectionals, um, which is also um, first time for the girls and. In, in, in our school history and in the semifinals, uh, they lost to the eventual Class D champions, Brookfield, in a hard fall game. They lost 53-49. And hopefully you had a chance to watch that uh, battle that was uh, streamed by Kurt Albertine because um, it, it was a heck of a game. And the girls played hard and battled them right to the end. And I was very proud of the way they played. Um, not, not many teams in our section because Brookfield was ranked number one in our section. Uh, I don't think they gave us much of a chance to win that game, but if you watched it, these girls, these girls gave them a battle, and, and they were right there the whole way, and, and I, was, I was very proud of them. Um, I don't usually like to talk um, about our individual players that much because I feel like um, our success isn't – about individuals, it's based on our our product of our whole as a as a team as a whole. Um, but I, I would think I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, mention each one of them individually for the fine season that they had. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say a little bit about them. Um, Kaylin Weston, Kaylin came to us this year as a tenth grader after missing uh, a whole year of basketball. And her and I had a conversation about how the season would probably play out for her, and uh, she bought into it. Um, and and throughout the season, Caitlin progressed very well, and um, and and I look forward to having Caitlin, Caitlin on the team next year as a junior. I, I think I think she's going to be a, a tremendous asset to us next year. Um, Camille Stevenson, Camille Camille worked really hard all season. Uh, I know that Camille believes that soccer uh, is her best sport, and she and she might be right. Soccer might be, but I think that if Camille keeps coming uh, to basketball and keeps working as hard as she did this season, I think she might surprise herself on uh, on just how close uh, basketball could be to uh, her best sport as soccer is. Um, she she did a very good job for us this year as well. Uh, Callie Fontaine. Callie is another player who uh, believes that um, basketball might be her second or third best sport. Um, I'll tell you this, if Callie can keep bringing the defensive intensity that she brought to us, and she can bring that every night, and if she starts believing in herself and her jump shot the way I know that she can shoot that jump shot, uh, Callie might find out that basketball could be her best sport too or, or be right there close to soccer and softball as I, I've been trying to brainwash her into believing um, as well. Melina Stevenson. Melina's, Melina improved immensely as the season went on and as, as Melina's confidence grew in uh, what our, our uh, plan was for Melina in our offense and defensive system. Uh, you could just see that Melina grew more comfortable in what she was doing with us. Um, I look forward to uh, watching Melina continue to grow uh, as she becomes a 10th grader and, and continues to play. 
and uh, Melina earned the uh, most improved trophy for our 2019-20 or 2019-20 season. <clears throat> Riley Albertine. Riley is one of our two seniors on the team this year, and we're going to miss Riley tremendously next year. Um, Riley started at times for us, and obviously Riley came off the bench at times for us. Uh, she averaged six and a half points a game for us. Riley was named to the Frontier League All-Star team, and um, for that, we're going to we're going to name Riley the uh, Sixth Player Award for trophy for 2019-20 um, season. Molly Timmerman. Molly started, also started at us for us at times. She came off the bench for us at times. Um, Molly was very versatile for us. She played uh, down low for us on defense, uh, and she also played the guard position for us on defense when we were playing zone. When we played man to man, we'd assign Molly at times to um, guard one of their better offensive players on the opposing team. Um, and, and for that, Molly earned her, herself the uh, Coach's Trophy for the 2019-20 season. Samara Ouellette. Sim uh, averaged 6.6 .6 points a game for us, and she was by far our best outside shooter. Uh, Sim earned, uh, earned Frontier League All-Star team, and um, we look forward to, to what Sim can bring to us next season. Natalia Oscarskawa. Natalia, as a freshman, um, averaged four steals per game for us. She was she was strong on on defense, and she was uh, when we played man to man. Natalia was assigned to guard their best offensive player, and uh, Natalia also was named to the Frontier League honorable mention All Star. And for that, Natalia earned herself our uh, Defensive Player Trophy for the 2019-20 season. Frankie Wilson, Francesca, Francesca Wilson. Frankie is one of our two captains. She is also the second of our two seniors, and we will miss Frankie tremendously next year as well. Uh, Frankie averaged 13 points a game, eight rebounds a game, Frankie was named to the Frontier League All-Star team. Frankie was also uh, named to the All-North uh, team as an honorable mention. Olivia Asascalo. Olivia was uh, the second of our two captains. Olivia averaged 15 and a half points a game and five steals per game. Olivia was named to the uh, Frontier League All-Star team. Olivia was also named to the All-North second team and Olivia is uh, named to the section three all-stars because of uh, because of Frankie's and uh, Olivia's um, efforts that they brought to our team we are naming uh, both Frankie and Olivia our MVPs for the 2019-20 season um, we couldn't get together obviously uh, to vote on the Indian Award, so I had my captains uh, choose who the Indian Award would go to. And our Indian Award is going to go to uh, Caitlin Weston this year. So, um, congratulations to Caitlin Weston. Uh, in closing, I would just like to say I hope that everyone stays safe and healthy. And I can't wait until the time when we can get back onto the basketball court and get playing basketball again. And thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Leo Wilson. I'm the Varsity Boys basketball coach. I would like to thank Mrs. Morrison and Mr. Davis and the Board of Education for giving me the chance to coach this team again this year. I'd like to thank Tammy McIntosh for all the work that she did through the season to make the season run smooth. I'd like to thank Coach Wallace, Coach Morrow, and Coach Fleisig for all the help that they did, they, they gave us this year to help with the team. Uh, I'd like to thank John Leo and Ricky Wallace for keeping our scorebooks, and a special thanks to Julian Sosa for being our manager. A little bit about our team this year. The team had a great season. 
they went 22 or 21 and 2 overall and 15 and 0 in the league. They won the Frontier League and the playoff championships for the third year in a row and were ranked number three in the state. Um, a little bit about the players. Uh, Logan Petty this year didn't get a chance to play with us. Uh, he was out with injuries. Uh, hopefully over the summer, uh, Logan can get healthy and we'll look forward to him next year on the team. Caden uh, Wilson, Tyler Cordova, Graham Rowland, and Derek Gutramont all came in every night willing to work hard, listening to what we had to say to them on our offenses and defenses, and they really contributed a lot this year through the season. The last five guys were our starters. We had two juniors and three seniors as starters this year. The first player was Tyler Wilson. Tyler was our three-point shooter. shooter. Uh, he also worked on, uh, over the summer, of going to the basket. Uh, he did a nice job at that. Uh, he was our th the second leading scorer in uh, three-point shots made with 76 this year. Uh, he was a Frontier League All-Star. He was voted All-North Honorable Mention and All-State Honorable Mention. We're giving uh, Tyler this year the three-point shooting award. The next player is Kyle Gomes. Uh, Kyle was our leading scorer this year with 22.1 points a game. He also led us in steals with three. Uh, Kyle was a very versatile player. He was able to, he's able to go to the basket hard. And when they take that away from him, he is a very good outside shooter too. He's also a very good defensive player. Um, Kyle uh, was selected as an Athlete of the Week this year, um, also Frontier League All-Star, an All-North First Team, and an All-North, or All-State Third Team. Um, Kyle is going to be given our Leading Scorer Award this year. Uh, the last three guys are our seniors. The first uh, player I'd like to talk about is Tanner Young. Tanner, uh, was our big guy in the underneath this year. Uh, he started out slow, but came into practice every night, really worked hard on his fundamentals. And by the end of the year, he was a really good rebounder and he really plugged up the middle and helped us there defensively. Uh, we we're giving Tanner the most improved player award this year. Uh, the next player is uh, Jake Bombard. Uh, Jake played a point guard for us this year. He's a very unselfish player. Uh, he would times give up shots that he could take to distribute it to other players for, for other shots. And uh, he is a very good floor leader. He was a, he's very quick and usually we would give uh, the assignment to uh, Jake to guard the, the opponent's best player. Uh, Jake made uh, honorable mention, Frontier League honorable mention this year, and we're giving uh, Jake the Defensive Player Award. Last is Isaiah Wilson. Isaiah was our second leading scorer this year with 21.8 uh, 21 points a game. Uh, he was a leading rebounder with 8.7 and also uh, led us in assists with four assists a game. Uh, Isaiah made Athlete of the Week this year. He was a Frontier League All-Star, Frontier League MVP, All-North First Team, and All-State First Team for the second year in a row. Um, we're giving Isaiah the MVP award this year. Uh, the last award I have to give, or actually the coaches, or the captains selected this player for this award, is the Indian Award. Uh, and that's going to Caden Wilson. Caden came in every night and worked hard, was patient to get playing time, never complained about anything, and the, the captains chose Caden for this award. Uh, we had a special 
something special happen this year that doesn't happen to most teams, and that's we had three players hit milestones this year. Tyler Wilson and uh, Kyle Gomes each went over the 1,000-point mark this year, and Isaiah Wilson went over the 2,000-point mark this year. Uh, Isaiah a a ended his career averaging 2,187 points. Uh, the last person I'd like to talk about is, uh, is my assistant, Jared Wilson. Jared, uh, we will be, uh, Jared will be taking another job next year. He's going to be the varsity boys head coach at IHC next year. Uh, over the year, over the six years that Jared's been my assistant, he has helped us make the program a, a success and uh, Jared will be uh, missed next year. Uh, I know he'll do well at IHC. Um, uh, Jared, for the years of dedication that you've given to the team, the team and I would like to give you this trophy in dedication to all the hard work you did for us. And when the time comes where the players can, they will be signing this plaque for you and I will get this plaque to you as soon as I can. Um, well, that's it for me. I wish everybody well. I hope everybody is staying well and everybody be safe. And uh, that uh, I'll see you when I can. Thank you.